Hey guys, EpicCG here with yet another tutorial on how to mod your avatar skin color, hair color, eyebrow color, eye color, lip color, everything. <laughs> everything on your avatar that can be modded of its color, so to speak. And this is a very easy mod, super simple, no hex editing or anything difficult like that, just one program that mods everything. Thank goodness. <laughs> so we'll begin with our programs. Now make sure your hard drive or USB is firmly secured into your computer. USB is just into a USB slot. Easy. Hard drives, I have a video on how to take them apart and hook them up to your computer like a normal hard drive, which I believe don't have to wait a week for the transfer cable. Never thought the transfer cable was that nice. It probably breaks after a while too. I'm not for sure. I don't get it. I am lazy. So... I'm just going to have my hard drive taken apart and hooked up to my computer that way through a SATA and CA connection. Again, I have a video on my channel about how to do that. Very simple. So, start out. Once you have your device hooked up, open the program that you use to open up to um, access your device. So, for example, there's the thing in Mario. There's Export 360, Explorer 360, and USB Explorer for the USB drives. So, but I'm going to be using UX, uh, Explorer 360 because that's the only thing that works for me right now because for some reason Export has stopped recognizing my hard drive and I'm about to just strangle it to death <laughs> because I've tried everything and just nothing's working. So I'm using my backup plan so just bear with me if there's no names or labels that have helped you in the, f in the past. Now just gonna have to deal with letters and numbers but that's good because USBs um, have the exact same file format and everyone can just follow along willy-nilly so no one should be confused because everything is the exact same with USBs and hard drives the file names are the same the mod process is the same nothing different except just USB and hard drive you know normal obvious differences so in Explore if you're following along with me in this exact program um, and by the way, the programs will need Explore, Mario, Eclipse. These two are for sure, and whatever program you have to open it. I'll have all those programs, USB Explorer, Explore, Export, Mario, and Eclipse, in a single download link. Well, USB Explorer is going to be in a link below by itself. And all these others, these four, will be in a single download link for your convenience in the description down south. Down there. <laughs> so, back to my point go to explore, export, whatever you're using open up your device, if you're in explore you can click drive, open, hard drive or mem card and once you have your device open you need to go to your content folder which is usually for hard drives in partition 3 and I don't know if USBs now have partitions too because I haven't looked at them but I know for sure that the file layout is the same so you can just go to your content folder go to your profile folder whichever one that is you can usually look for the ones like the amount of games that you've played on that account which is fairly simple so once you have found your profile folder it's the long thing all of these are profiles and you just have to find yours might take a while but once you get it down you got it down but once you're in that folder go to the first folder the FFFE07D1 again FFFE07D1 Open that up, it should have a 00010000 folder in it. And there's a file in here that matches the folder of that of your profile. Both of these have the exact same name. So you can drag and drop that onto your desktop. And this is the unmodded skin color normal file that's on here right now. We can minimize Explorer for now. We bring that back up later. And let's open up Eclipse. And it should, if you get this to work right, it should show up with the fancy loading screen. Woohoo! Halo Reach! <laughs> and. Sorry, random moment there. But. Once Eclipse is open, you need to go to. Well, I'll close out of this. But you can go to. Go to File. Profile Tools. Avatar Editor. And this window will pop up. As you can see, you can mod your skin color, your hair color, your eye color, your eyebrow color, your eye shadow color, your lips color, facial color, face paint, and second face paint color. Now, eye shadow, facial, I don't know what that really does because I don't have eye shadow 
because I'm not gay. <laughs> but once you have this window open, go to load and look for your file that was your your profile file. And your gamer tag should be should pop up right here in this space, as you can see. Discover truth for me, and you can mod whatever color you want. So if you were to click on the arrow by the color, you choose anything in the freaking rainbow. Woohoo! So pretty. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna go crazy here. Let's make his skin a teal, green hair, uh, red eyes. Give him. Green eyebrows to match the hair, eyeshadow. I don't use it, so I'm gonna make it white. Lips. Let's give them white lips, it'd be funny. Facial, no clue what that does. I'm gonna turn it green because I feel like it. Face paint, just white, face paint white. I don't use face paint on my guy. So whatever you don't use, you can just make a random color, because it's not gonna show up. But skin, hair, eye, and eyebrow are the four main ones that everyone will see. So once that's done, just click save. Now it'll say it's rehashed and resigned, but you want to be safe and we'll do it into Mario later, in a little bit, actually in like five seconds. So once you're done here, close, close, and your modded profile file will be right here on your desktop where you, where you left it. Now let's open up Mario. Once it's loaded up, close out of these stupid things, and drag and drop your modded profile file into Mario. And as you can see, your gamer tag will be up here, and your gamer picture will be right here. So you can provide, you can prove that this is your gamer tag, gamer profile, whatever. Your profile and device LDs will be right here. Don't touch these for now because we want to keep these the same. And for now, just click rehash and resign. Ding ding. ding. This will show you it's been rehashed and resigned. Click it again, because make sure that you did it. Close out of this. We are done. You can now go back into Explore, into Explore, or Export, or Mario, or your USB Explorer, whatever you were in, and drag and drop it in the exact same place that you took it out. And it should ask something about overwriting it. Just click yes, or whatever you do to overwrite the file. It'll look like nothing's changed, but it has. So once you're done with that, you can close out of Explorer, and now you are officially done. Your avatar has been modded to your fancy skin color. Now I'm going to show you on my Xbox to prove you to, to you that this works and it is legit. And this works as of September 10th, 2010. So now I'm going to go to my Xbox and show you that this works. I'll see you on my Xbox. Hey guys, as you can see, I'm on my Xbox. And hopefully you've seen by now that we've created a little blue and green man. And this is proof to you guys that you can change their skin color, obviously the light teal skin color, the hair color, the light green hair color, and the eye color. Hopefully if you can see there, he's got a red eyes, I believe, I think so. But yeah, again, I don't know what the facial is, so I don't see any green on like a face or anything. But, yeah, you can do all this stuff any color you want, and it's really cool. <laughs> and that's all I have for now, guys. So, I'll see you guys next time.